Hello everyone, today is December 29, 2021. I will be making a Maha Blanca. This is my own version and these are all my ingredients. I bought this at State of Brother. It's a cheddar cheese. I will be using one cup for that one. I have different kind of cornstarch, so I'm just gonna mix that. I'm just gonna put one cup of cornstarch. And here's my um, sweet corn creamy style, one big can and two small can. It doesn't matter what brand. And I have this coconut milk in a can, one can of evaporated milk and one can of magnolia. So first, here's already my pot. I will be mixing one corn, um, one corn starch, cup of corn starch. There you go. Okay, so that's one cup. Actually, it's only a few left, so I will be using the whole thing. It's probably one cup in one quart because it's only a few left. I don't want to leave the remaining. So I can just throw this in the trash. And let's add one cup of sugar. It's a uh, white sugar and okay, here's one cup of sugar white sugar it doesn't matter what brand here's my white sugar as long as it's white sugar next Let's add the condensed milk. And I already starting the fire, low fire for now. And then I just add a little bit of water so you hot water so you can get the rest of the milk. Now let's add this uh, corn. It's a one can of corn. Here you go. It doesn't matter what brand of corn you want. I mean the coconut can. You can use a fresh coconut can or a fresh uh, coconut milk or in the can it doesn't matter or the frozen one it doesn't matter there you go I added some hot water too so I can get the rest of the milk and there the coconut milk adding the condensed milk see let's mix this slowly there you go and then I will be adding a condensed milk one can doesn't matter what brand the one that I got from Stater Brother is Magnolia And I'm using a spatula so it's easy to scrape the remaining um, condensed milk at the bottom. And one on the lid. There, see that? Good. Same thing, I will add a little bit of hot water in here because you know you don't want to waste uh, your money I should say and some milk in here there's some milk in here so I just add a little bit of hot water in the can and then mix it and then I pour it in there so just like that a very see just a very tiny water I just wanted to get the whole remaining milk at the bottom and on the side 
Because you know, still it's a, uh, it will add more taste. The remaining condensed milk in here. Nice. There. Perfect. So the creamy corn style, we're going to add that once this one is already uh, thickened. The consistent changes. Right now, all you can see is just a uh, liquid style. There you go. I have this metal uh, whisk. So it's easy. See, you can do like this. Now let's turn the fire medium uh, heat because earlier while we're putting the ingredients I put it very low because you don't want to burn at the bottom right away. Okay, let's use the metal whisk and keep stirring. So again in here in the pot that I have one cup white sugar one can the big can of uh, coconut milk you can use the fresh uh, coconut milk if you like if you have that available i have the condensed milk one can and uh, one in like one fourth of cornstarch in here because i just put the remaining in the container and I have this uh, one can of sweet corn, two small creamy sweet corn style. But I will be adding once the consistency of this liquid becomes thick in. There you go. So this is very simple. All you have to do is keep stirring, stirring. So you don't want to get that uh, burn at the bottom. There you go. Keep stirring. Very easy. Combine all the ingredients, keep mixing, cook it in a medium heat. Once the liquid gets uh, the consistency of the liquid, the liquid uh, is, uh, gets thickened, then you can just add the remaining the sweet corn style and the cheese. Hope you guys are doing well. It's almost New Year. Here in California, it's December 29 at 7.11 in the evening. I don't know what time it's in your area. Hope you guys are doing well. And whoever's watching, don't forget to click and subscribe. I usually don't edit my videos. I will be adding all the ingredients uh, in the description below. So, you guys can uh, follow my recipe or if you want to add some other ingredients that you prefer, it's up to you. But this is the way how I do my Maha Blanca. I don't usually add some water because this is for, uh, you know, for us to consume, not to sell outside. But usually for sale outside, they add some water because, you know, it costs the milk. It costs really, it costs a lot, especially for those people that are not working and they want to try some dessert. So it's okay if, if they add some water. But my preference, I don't add some water because I want the taste to be milky taste. Milky, cheesy, and uh, creamy corn. That's my version of my Maha Blanca. So if you're not subscribed yet, don't forget. I cooked this many times when I was in high school. Uh, I have a buddy actually when I was in high school. We won for cooking competitions. So this is one of my uh, cooking competition that I cooked. That was way back when I was in high school. Wow. I'm I'm doing recollection right now. I'm not a good cook, but I'm good in experimenting. 
everyone out there watching or listening or just trying to cook my own recipe, feel free. Let me know if you like it. If you try these ingredients, very easy. Just keep mixing, mixing, mixing. Right now, I already put the fire on high. It's starting to boil because you don't want it to be uh, burning at the bottom. So, tips. Uh, my doggy is there. Hi, Rocky. You want to be my video boy? Mommy's doing vlog. It's December 29th. Look at that. Yummy, 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 yummy. Everything has milk. Because the coconut, you want it to cook well. See, that's what it looks like. See how the consistency? It's really milky, liquid, not watery. This is what you want. So if you want to cook a mama blanca, as much as possible, don't add some water. If you want it really, really tasty, I don't add some water. Me personally, I don't add some water. Okay, it's starting to, uh, at the bottom. There you go. You can feel it, it's starting to thicken. Once it gets slowly thickened, that you know, it's not liquidy anymore. It's not watery, I should say. Then we will add the creamy corn in the can. Hi, Baba. Rocky is hungry. Okay. Let me see. See. It's right there, it's starting. It's right there, it's starting at the bottom. Okay. Keep mixing. Keep mixing. So, if you have somebody in the house, ask them for help. Because me, I've been mixing it for a couple of minutes so far. I don't have anybody I have in here, but my hubby is busy watching this show. My mom is in the room, so I don't have a choice, but, you know, if your other hand is tired, use the other hand. Or if you want to use both hands, you can do it. So you don't feel that tiredness like that. See? Uh, See, it's getting thickened now. You guys are seeing what I'm seeing? Oh, look at that. Oh, see, this is what I'm talking about. Can you see it? Like that. See, now we can add the corn. Okay, I will be starting adding the corn. So like that see and then I'm getting the fire low because it's already starting nice look at that okay that's the creamy corn style style there you go call and sweet cream style corn it's a state of broader brand this is a small okay and then I usually add it again just there you go Be yummy. I like it to be a uh, creamy corn. Nice. There you go. small 
it's a very tiny one see it's a small can so one big can and two small can or you can use two big cans it doesn't matter but I have this small one so I'm just rather use this or you can only use one can and in a half it's okay but I want it to be creamy corn taste so it's okay it's very okay Keep mixing. Look at that. See what I'm. You guys are seeing what I'm seeing. See how it's fast and it's quick. See that? What did I just said? Okay. Doesn't take that long. So it's like roughly may you see right now it's already 16 minutes and there's no app uh, that I did in this video. So it's very easy to cook, everyone. So feel free. You can copy my recipe. Okay, I don't want that in there. Okay. Put it in there. Now, let's continue stirring because you don't want that one at the bottom to be a... Uh... Okay. So right now, the fire is very low. Because you don't want the bottom to be burned, so keep continue stirring very slow. The fire is in a low heat uh, right now. The station is in a low heat. So you already put the corn, as you can see, it's really creamy. Now I'm gonna add some cream, uh, cheese. It's the cheddar cheese that I showed you last time. Wow, it doesn't take that long. So roughly probably 20 minutes, huh? Because right now I'm already in 17 minutes. Wow. So roughly, if you want more, if you want cheesy, Oh, you can be generous to yourself if it's just for your consumable for your own for your guys then add more cheese more cheese is good it's delicious oh look at that it's beautiful see what I'm seeing oh my goodness it's really yummy look at that really creamy huh OMG oh look at that perfect Okay, so I moved the camera so you guys can see it. Yeah. Look at that. To my co-workers out there, I will be bringing this tomorrow. You guys are all lucky. You always try my food. So always my co-worker. I love them. I always cook for them. They love my food. Oh, look at that. It's a Maha Blanca creamy corn cheese. That's my own version. Look at that. Ooh, look at that. Nice, huh? If you want to make more cheesy, you can add. If it's you guys for your own consumption. If you want to sell it, of course you have to be watching how much you're going to spend. But you know, you want to earn too. There you go, everyone. So it's done. Hope you guys uh, like my cooking. See, this is what you need, the consistency. See that? This is what you're looking for. Then let it set in the pan. And once it's full, then you can put it in your refrigerator. And then after that, you can also add, add additional cheese on top. You can sprinkle it. Okay, thank you everyone. Don't forget to click and subscribe. God bless.